Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your source for the latest space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna, and in today's episode, we'll be covering a range of exciting developments in space exploration and astronomical discoveries. So let's get started with some news headlines. In some exciting news for space enthusiasts, the Federal Aviation Administration has given SpaceX the green light to resume full-time flights of its Falcon 9 rocket. This comes after a thorough investigation into recent mishaps that had grounded the launch vehicle. The FAA's decision follows their review and acceptance of SpaceX's own investigation findings and the corrective actions they've implemented. This is a crucial step forward for SpaceX, as the Falcon 9 is their workhorse rocket, responsible for a significant portion of their launch operations. The approval specifically addresses issues that occurred during recent Starlink missions in July and August, as well as a malfunction during a NASA astronaut mission in late September. In that incident, the second stage of the Falcon 9 experienced problems, causing the booster to fall into an unapproved area of the Pacific Ocean. With this full-time clearance, SpaceX is now poised to return to its ambitious launch schedule in earnest. The company had already received temporary clearance for the launch of the European Space Agency's Hera spacecraft last Monday. This return to flight is not just significant for SpaceX, but for the entire commercial space industry. It demonstrates the rigorous safety standards and the importance of thorough investigations in maintaining public trust in private space ventures. One of the big exciting launches is now back on track with this return to normal operations. NASA and SpaceX are gearing up for the launch of the Europa Clipper mission on Monday, October 14th. This ambitious endeavor aims to investigate Jupiter's enigmatic moon, Europa, which has long fascinated scientists due to its potential to harbor life. The mission will see the Europa Clipper spacecraft embark on a six-year journey to reach Jupiter's orbit. Once there, it will conduct a series of close flybys of Europa, coming as near as 16 miles above the moon's icy surface. These passes will allow the spacecraft to gather unprecedented data about Europa's composition and structure. What makes Europa so intriguing is the presence of a global ocean beneath its thick ice shell. Scientists believe this subsurface ocean could potentially support life, making it one of the most promising places in our solar system to search for extraterrestrial organisms. The Europa Clipper carries a suite of advanced scientific instruments designed to probe the moon's mysteries. These include ice-penetrating radar to measure the thickness of the ice shell, spectrometers to analyze surface composition, and magnetometers to study the properties of the hidden ocean. By gathering this wealth of data, scientists hope to determine whether Europa's subsurface environment could indeed support life as we know it. The mission's findings could revolutionize our understanding of habitability beyond Earth and pave the way for future exploration of this intriguing Jovian moon. In a significant milestone for China's space program, the country's first retrievable and reusable satellite, Shijian-19, has successfully returned to Earth after spending two weeks in low Earth orbit. The satellite touched down late Thursday at the Dongfeng landing site near Juquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert. This achievement marks a notable step forward in China's development of reusable space technologies. The Shijian-19 mission carried various payloads, including plant and microbial breeding experiments, as well as technology verification tests. It also included payloads from five other countries, highlighting China's growing international collaborations in space. The success of this mission demonstrates China's advancing capabilities in spacecraft design and recovery. Reusable satellites like Shijian-19 could potentially reduce the cost of space missions and increase the frequency of experiments conducted in orbit. This technology could prove particularly valuable for China's space breeding programs, which aim to enhance crop resilience and productivity. As China continues to expand its presence in space, developments like the Shijian-19 mission underscore the country's ambitions to become a major player in the global space industry. With plans for more launches before the end of the year, China is clearly accelerating its pace in space exploration and technology development. NASA astronauts Don Pettit and Matthew Dominic recently had front row seats to an extraordinary light show from their perch aboard the International Space Station. On October 10th, they witnessed a breathtaking display of supercharged red auroras, which left them absolutely stunned. Pettit described the experience as if the space station had been shrunk and inserted into a neon sign. The astronauts found themselves not just flying above the aurora, but right in the midst of it. The blood-red hue of the auroras was particularly striking and unexpected. These spectacular auroras were the result of a recent solar storm. When the sun releases a burst of energy in the form of a coronal mass ejection, it sends charged particles hurtling towards Earth. As these particles interact with our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere, 
they create the dazzling light displays we know as auroras. The astronauts, though tired from a long day, couldn't resist setting up their cameras to capture this rare event. The syncopated rhythm of their camera shutters added a unique soundtrack to nature's celestial artwork. This event serves as a reminder of the dynamic relationship between our sun and Earth, and how space weather can create some of the most beautiful phenomena visible from both the ground and orbit. In a fascinating new study, researchers have used the chemical fingerprints of zinc found in meteorites to unravel the mystery of how volatile elements arrived on Earth. These volatile elements, which include water and the six most common elements found in living organisms, are crucial for life as we know it. The study reveals that about 90% of Earth's zinc and likely other volatile elements came from unmelted asteroids. These primitive bodies formed later in the solar system's history, after the decay of radioactive elements that caused earlier asteroids to melt and lose their volatiles. This discovery has significant implications for our understanding of how life emerged on Earth. It suggests that without these unmelted asteroids, our planet might not have had enough of the essential building blocks for life to develop. The researchers used sophisticated modeling techniques to trace the entire period of Earth's accretion, which took tens of millions of years. Their findings indicate that while melted planetesimals contributed about 70% of Earth's overall mass, they only provided around 10% of its zinc and other volatiles. This research not only sheds light on Earth's formation, but also provides valuable insights for the search for potentially habitable planets elsewhere in the universe. It suggests that the right mix of materials, including these primitive, volatile-rich bodies, might be necessary for a planet to have the ingredients for life. In an exciting astronomical breakthrough, scientists have finally discovered Saturn's first Trojan asteroid. This finding fills a crucial gap in our understanding of these unique objects in our solar system. So what exactly are Trojan asteroids? Well, they're celestial bodies that share an orbit with a planet, positioned either 60 degrees ahead or behind it. We've known about Trojans for other planets like Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune for quite some time, but Saturn was the odd one out, until now. The newly discovered asteroid, named 2019 UO14, is about 13 kilometers across and orbits 60 degrees ahead of Saturn. It's been playing this cosmic game of follow the leader for about 2,000 years and is expected to continue for another millennium. This discovery is significant for several reasons. First, it confirms long-standing predictions about Saturn's potential to host Trojans. Second, it provides valuable insights into the dynamics of our solar system, particularly the gravitational interactions between the giant planets. Interestingly, Saturn's Trojans are believed to be inherently unstable due to the gravitational influence of Jupiter and Uranus. This makes 2019 UO14 a rare find and suggests there might be more temporary Saturnian Trojans waiting to be discovered. And finally, wrapping up today's news highlights. In an exciting development for astronomy, scientists are now taking their groundbreaking black hole imaging to the next level. After capturing the first ever image of a black hole in 2019, researchers are now working on creating moving images, essentially videos, of these enigmatic cosmic objects. This ambitious project, led by astronomer Heino Falca and his team, aims to provide unprecedented insights into the behavior of black holes. By combining data from multiple telescopes around the world, including a new 15-meter telescope in Namibia, they hope to produce hours-long videos of the swirling plasma and gas around the event horizons of two black holes, M87 and Sagittarius A star. The challenges are immense. The sheer amount of data involved, potentially over 5 billion gigabytes, is staggering. Processing this information requires supercomputing power and innovative techniques to stitch together images from various telescopes. If successful, these videos could reveal fascinating phenomena, such as the movement of plasma around black holes, and possibly even capture a star being torn apart as it ventures too close. This breakthrough could deepen our understanding of black hole dynamics, improve measurements of their mass, and potentially unlock new mysteries about the nature of space and time. That wraps up today's episode of Astronomy Daily. I'm Anna, and I hope you've enjoyed this cosmic journey through the latest space and astronomy news. From SpaceX's return to flight to breakthroughs in black hole imaging, it's been an exciting roundup of discoveries and developments. Remember to visit our website at astronomydaily.io, where you can sign up for our free daily newsletter, catch up on all the latest space and astronomy news with our constantly updating news feed, and listen to all our back episodes. 
We're also active on social media. So be sure to follow Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok for even more stellar content. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, keep looking up and stay curious about the wonders of our universe. Astronomy Daily.